In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can encrypt a USB device from the terminal. So let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> so uh, the first thing you wanna do is know the path for the device. I like to use the command LSBLK, which I believe is used to list your block storage or your devices connected to your system. So, um, or your storage devices connected to your system. Hit enter. So this is going to give us the paths. I know that this is my USB device based off the storage size. Um, so it's forward slash dev forward slash SDB. Um, I'll need this for the next step. I'm gonna use a tool that comes with Kali Linux called Crypt Setup. I'm not sure if it comes with other flavors of Linux by default. If not, you can Google uh, how to install that. Um, so Crypt Setup with the command option of Luke's formats followed by the um, dash Y and dash V. Dash Y is just gonna get us to verify our password. So we're entering it in twice. Dash V is extra uh, command output by the way of verbose. And then the path of the device, four slash dev, four slash SDB. And this is the command that we need to format this device uh, for encryption. Hit enter. It's gonna give you a warning, letting you know it's gonna override the content. So if you do have something sensitive in there, you'll want to um, back that up to a secondary storage um, that way you can move it back on later to continue press well type in yes in all capital letters and hit enter and now put in your passphrase because we did the verify the dash y uh, we're entering it in twice all right and this will take a few seconds and it's pretty much just overriding the, the de device and uh, allowing it to be encrypted All right, command successful. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to now open this device and map it to a virtual directory on our machine. Crypt setup, crypt setup, Luke's open is the command, followed by the device, SDB, and then we need to give it an alias. I'm sticking with this whole Transformers theme, so Megatron in this case, since my user's name is Optimus, and hit enter. And now it's asking for the passphrase that you set up. All right, so now it's taken this USB and it's mapped it to a virtual location on our machine. And if we do LSBLK dash P, we can see what that mapping is right here. Um, there's a director called forward slash dev forward slash mapper. It's so whatever alias we gave um, to that. In, case, in that case, I called it Megatron. And we can also see the type um, for this is uh, the uh, encrypted, essentially. All right, so next up, what we want to do is we wanna format this directory here, this mapping directory. And the way that we do that is I'm gonna use the built-in tools. So MKFS, I'm gonna press a period and tab. These are the different formats that we have. Uh, I'm gonna use .ext4, because I believe that's, um, that is better for USB or external uh, storage devices, the small devices. So we'll do X, ext4, and then that mapped path, dev, mapper, Megatron, and then we need to give it a label, very similar to when you format a drive on Windows or when you just rename a drive on Windows, um, and I'm just gonna call it Megatron as well. All right, this will take a bit longer than the encryption, um, but once it's complete, um, we can then mount this directory. But um, yeah, so we'll just wait for a moment. All right, perfect, so that's done. Let's go to LS. All right, and now what we can do is because we have now set up that mapping directory, we formatted it, now we can mount that. Um, so I like to use mount, and then we do the mapper, Megatron, and where we want that to be on our machine, I'll just put this in this folder here. Um, oh, the mount point does not exist, so I can I could do a make directory Megatron. I prefer to do it all in one command using the dash M. That will create the folder, um, the target folder uh, will be called Megatron. I can call it anything that I want. And I'm gonna do dash W so it's in read write mode. Hit enter. And there we go. And so now I have a folder called Megatron. And what I can do is I'll, I can do a echo. Let's do hello world. 
and then I'll put it in the Megatron hello.txt. Hit enter. And now what I'll do is I'm going to unmount um, that directory. So dev mapper. And actually, before I even do that, let's do a, an lsblk to list our block storage again. Um, we can see that the mapper, uh, that mapped folder is now mounted. That's my mount point here, um, that folder that I created. So we're going to unmount this and we use that mapper path. There we go. And let's do LSBLK again. And now it's no longer mounted. And now in order to close, because now right now, now right now, <laughs> the, the disk or the, the device, it's unencrypted, meaning that we're, we're able to see into it, but now we need to close it. So the next time, you know, we open it, we need to have that password. So what we can do is do a crypt setup, Luke's close, and then the device path. Oh, what did I just, one second. Okay. Oh, that's right. Um, I need to do, because I need to do the mapping location because that's, that's where the contents really are. So mapper Megatron. There we go. And then BLK. And then there we go. So we see, we just have the device attached, but it's not, no longer open. So if we want to open this device again, we can do crypt. Setup, Luke's open, SDB. Oh, and then that map's name again, Megatron. And I could call it something else. So let's call it um, Bumblebee. And now notice that we're being prompted for that password again. And then let's do LSBLK. And there it is because we need to mount this, that folder now. So we'll do a mount and I'll just call this and I'll do, and actually let's go ahead and take a look at that Megatron folder that we created before. Nothing's in there because nothing's mounted to it. So we'll do mount dev mapper bumblebee Megatron. And it might help if I type correctly. There we go. And then now let's do an LS on Megatron. And there's the file and folder, LSB okay. So yeah, so that's how we accomplish those tasks. Um, you only need to do that formatting of the device and the mapped path the first time you create that encryption. Otherwise it's just going through and opening, mounting, unmounting and closing. So set up, uh, oh, actually unmount first. Uh, unmount, dev, mapper, bumblebee. I keep, I keep wanting to say unmount, but it's U-mount. There we go, U-mount. Then again, LSB okay. We can see it's no longer mounted. And then we need to close this device. So crypt, setup, Luke's, close, dev, mapper, Bumblebee. And there we go. So that's how you can encrypt a device, uh, specifically on a Linux system. I'm using Kali Linux, uh, using these tools. Um, so hopefully this is helpful and hopefully this also secures your data. So thanks. Take care.